Right, uh, we're going to do corrections for this part here. All right, I'll just uh, scroll up. Start with the first one, section A. Now, this is quite easy. You can see here, write numbers 53,040 words. Spell, remember this way, 53,040. Spelling, this is not F-O-U-R-T-Y. And this, make sure you have is uh, hyphenated. Next one B, right, write the following as a numeral. It means from words becomes number. Right, this is the answer. I believe you know by now how to do this. Now next, the value of the digit seven is seventy thousand. How do I know? Let's check one by one. Eh, the value over here. Now maybe let me do some uh, little pointing for you to see. Okay. Now uh, take a look. Now, the first is uh, ones. And then first is ones. Ten hundred thousand and what is this? All right, ten thousand, right? So ten thousand times seven, okay, is seventy thousand. The value we are talking actual value. All right, how much is this worth actual value? Let's go to two B. What is the place value of the digit six in nine one six seven four? Okay. Now I realize that uh, the place value it means uh, at over here six exactly over here. It's not the value. If it's value, then it's 600, right? So the place, you just put hundreds, okay? If it's seven, you put tens. If it's four, you put ones. Over the digit one, then you put thousands. Next, let's carry on. Okay. Right. 3A, what is the missing number in the number pattern below? Right? Over here, easy. Now, of course, you may copy the answer, but I want you to really, really uh, be serious when you're doing your examination. Right over here, take a look. Take one of these numbers, the larger number, okay? The larger number over here, okay? Minus of the smaller number. Then you get the difference, right? For me, this I double check, right? The uh, smaller, uh, the, the, the number, I just double check over here and I get this answer. Then you should get the difference over here. See whether the difference between this and this is 400. Just double check. Okay? And double check. of course, here should be 400 and here it says 400. Answer 55600. All right. Next. What is the missing number in the pattern below? Simple. Now, this is not a straightforward type. Be a bit, uh, it's quite interesting. All right? The, I found that the increment here is 250. Then the next one is 500. Now the increment between this first difference and the second difference is another 250, right? First 250 plus 250, that increment becomes 500. Then the next you add another 250, the increment between this number 3000 and 3700 is 750 now, okay? Another increment from uh, 250, see from 500, go all the way here, right? So we add another 250, therefore the increment from here, right? 3750, right? Should be plus 1000, and you get your answer over here, 4750. Okay, if you do not understand what I just said, just rewind and listen to it again. Next, what is the missing number in the blank? Now, I have taught you this. Remember, less than. A number which is less than, it must be less than a bigger number. Alright? Then, the number which is beside this keyword less than is always the difference. So, when you see a bigger number and the difference, it will be good for you to imagine the model. Now, let, let me probably show you some model over here. This is very important. Uh, Alright. Now, so, this has got something to do with two numbers. Okay, so there's a bigger number and there's a smaller number. So, just imagine, uh, this is a bigger number and this is a smaller number. Now, D will be here. Alright, take a look at D. Okay, D is the difference here. Therefore, 1000, 1000 is this space over here. The bigger number should be in the bigger box. Right? 
If the bigger number is the bigger box, to find the smaller number, we take the bigger number, minus of the difference, you should get this. You won't go wrong if you continue to practice drawing the model. Now next, let's carry on. More than, more than should be more than a smaller number. Okay, so same thing. Let me uh, get the box to you again. Probably. Now let's take a look. Huh? More than a smaller number. Same, we have big number and a small number. So this 60,200 is the smaller number. Alright, so what you can see here, since this is a smaller number, it belongs to this box over here. Alright, and this is the difference. Different, it means it is over here. You can find out the number right over here. Maybe I just circle. And obviously, the bigger number, alright, is right in the bigger box. So, what we are going to find the question mark over here is actually the same as what we're going to find here. In modern drawing, you know that it is the big number takes away the small number, gives you the difference. Right, so you won't be confused. Do not know whether to take this number, minus 10 number, or plus 10 number. Okay, be very sure which is the bigger number, which is the smaller number, and what you're looking for. In this case, the difference. Okay, of course, uh, you may copy down this answer, and I hope you can personally work this out without looking at my solution. Right, let us continue. Let's move up. Now, this is easy. I will not go through. Alright, just arrange them this way. Next, huh, I'm a bit uh, uh, maybe uh, concerned for this because uh, most of us do not uh, understand that uh, there are some keywords over here. Now, the keyword for this is nearest tent. It means if you have to round anything off, you round off the 95. Take a look at 95. Right, right. Five will become zero. Okay. Nine, you got to write off to the nearest ten. It means this nine become ten. Right. So it becomes zero at the stage here. If you put one over here, this two becomes three. This two becomes three, and this remains the same. Eighty-four, three hundred. I'll be teaching you this uh, method. Please go through it yourself again, again with different type of numbers all right so this is the answer now let me uh, carry on uh, uh, scrolling this up for you same now over here you have to pay attention to the nearest hundred i draw a line over here right it means the num the digit in question is five we need to change five seven two is it nearer to six hundred or is it nearer to Okay, uh, 500. 57 is nearer to 600, right? So you add up with this 600. Right next, you come up to this uh, round off each number to the nearest 100, then estimate the answer. Now, for these cases, you must round them off into from 1937, nearest is 1900, and for this uh, minus. This one rounded off is to 600. So 1900 minus 600 is 1003. Okay, hope you understand that. Next, find the sums of all factors of 25. 1 times 25 is 25. 5 times 5 is 25. There's no any other number that uh, multiplied together to get a product 25 except this. Now, uh, many, some of you just, uh, just uh, drew this for the answer. Okay, you just, uh, what you did was, uh, you just uh, list the answer this way. Okay, but probably you missed out this keyword. The keyword says sum, add up these three number. By adding up these three number, you get 31. Next, 9 times 7, 63. Alright, let's carry on. Find the first common multiple of 4 and 6. Right. All you have to do is to list them down. Okay. List the multiple of four. Okay. Multiple of four and multiple of six. Common. It means the very first one that matches. Now starting from the lowest number, 
four, six, eight. Ah, twelve over here, and this one is twelve, the very first one. And if you were the list, continue to list down the number, multiple of four and multiple of six, you can actually find out there's also a second common multiple and a third common multiple. Find out for yourself what those multiple could be. Maybe the th second and the third multiple. Right? This is the answer. Now next, this is one of the most uh, interesting uh, way uh, to rearrange number. There are only four questions. Largest odd number, largest even number, smallest odd number, smallest even number. For this case, it is five digits. Just make sure all the digits are in. And odd number, the key, the biggest. Now, biggest very easy. Start with the biggest. What you step one, what you need to do, just start with start with the biggest. All right. And with the smallest digit, okay, it means in, in terms of value, and with the smallest digit over here. Now, this happens to be the largest even number for this case. Can you see, ended with zero. To change it, change it to a largest uh, odd number, all you have to do is just look from here, from right to left, which is, which are the odd numbers, right? One, no, this even, even, even. Ah, this is the odd number. Carry it over, okay, to this side next to zero. So it ends up with this way. Shift the rest of the number back over here. You get the largest odd number, which is this. I believe you read through this part over here. So. Jason had uh, four, three, six stamps after giving eight of his friends an equal number of stamps. Equal number of stamps. Huh? Each he had 20 stamps left. Okay. Now, important thing is to see the uh, uh, drawing of this uh, uh, model. Now, act what actually happens is like this. He has so much. After giving his friends so much, okay, all right, he has been left with 20. All right, just take a look here. This 20 here is what he has left. All right, and over here, 436, 436 divided by 8 is actually referring to this bigger box, which is being divided into 8 different parts. Okay, so. This is uh, two parts, uh, four parts. Okay, then I draw another, some more lines. Okay, eight friends got all this over here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the remaining. All right. So if you plus, uh, this, is, okay, this, is, this part is the dividing, huh? The 436 is this. 436 is the total. Actually, the part divided for the friends all the way to the extra 20. 436. Right? So to find out each friend, what you need to do, take 436, the overall, minus of this. Then you have this remaining part to be distributed to the friends. All right, which is 52. Right, next over here. There were 1098 people at the concert. All right, so there were twice as many children as women. So when you compare children and women, it is twice two of these boxes right and this is one now please do remember that the sizes imagine my drawing may not be that good the sizes are the same okay I put this as a U as a U one unit two unit three units each unit are of equal size then we take a look the number of men was three times the number of women so men over here 
three times compared to woman. Woman is one time, man is three times. One, two, three. Okay, sorry for the interruption. This is a bit, uh, I'm in a different environment. Let's continue over here. Now, the number of men was three times the number of women. Right, right over here. The men, one, two, three. Okay, three times. Okay, one unit, two unit, three units. Okay, and the uh, final question is, how many children were there at the concert? The question asks is this, how many youths are there? What, uh, how many youths? Okay, actually, and it happened that children, there are two youths. Right? Now, what is interesting is, you must take note of this, 6U, 6U, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The total is the number of people in the concert which is 1098 now 6u all right over here 1098 and u is 1098 divide by right it is divide 1098 divide by 6 the answer is 183 every u is 183 1 2 3 4 5 6 every u is 183 hence children they have two u it is 183 times 2 Right, and the answer is 366. Right, then we continue the last one. Now, this is rather interesting. Joseph's uh, present age is a third of a third multiple of seven. Straight away, very easy. Third multiple. First multiple is 7, 14, 21. Okay, this one is the third multiple. Right, uh, let me pause about here. Right, let me continue from here. Sisters is a factor of 18. The age, sister is a factor of 18. Least the factors now. Alright, uh, when I'm listing over here, 1 times one times 18 is 18. Okay, 2 times 9 is 18. 3 times 6 is 18. Any more? I don't think so. This is a complete list of factors of 18. Now, there is a hint over here. It says her age next year is also a multiple of 7. Right? Next year means we plus 1. We plus 1 to these factors. Now, these are the possible age of this year. Okay? This is this year. This line over here is this year. This is next year. So next year, one of the ages, right, will be a factor of 7. So we add 1 to each of the factors, 8, 19, 3, 10, 4, 7. And we realize that only this number is a factor of 7. So this year, her age is 6, right? And this year, Joseph's age is 21. The actual question is, did their total, total age for Joseph and his sister now the keyword is now but not next year so now as of now is 21 21 plus 6 which is this 27 is their total age right please do your corrections and uh, if you do not understand rewind it over and over again all right and uh, make sure hand in your corrections as soon as possible thank you